with our first assignment pretty much wrapped up, we're going to head on over to the discussions and create an ask a question discussion. And I'm going to right click on discussion and say open in new tab, just in case we want to come back and look at this assignment and grab some resources from it later on. So here we are in the Canvas discussions for our course. And the first discussion we're going to add is ask a question. It's going to be a non graded discussion board. Now I'll go ahead and post some uh, verbiage here. I typed out earlier. And we'll say allow three replies, which is a good generic uh, setting. And I'll say save and publish. That's pretty good, but we should also include some Canvas resources in case of our students not familiar with how to use discussion boards. So I go back and edit this. And I'm going to head over to our assignment. And remember, we had our Canvas assignment resources. I'm just going to copy that, head on over to our discussion. I'm going to paste it. Uh, let's see here. And undo the link, undo the link. When you copy and paste a Canvas link, often it'll include this links to external site. It's just extra verbiage, and I just remove it. Make it look cleaner. OK, so that's good. Uh, obviously, we're looking at a discussion board, not a Canvas assignment. So let's change this to for help of Canvas discussions. Watch this short video. So I'm going to highlight the link. I'm going to break the uh, hyperlink there. So now it's just text. And let's head over and search for the Canvas video guides. Remember, they were helpful from before. Guides, video, Canvas LMS community. Here we go. Look for students. Here is discussions overview. Click on that. Grab the link and head back to our discussion. I'm going to highlight the text, control K or command K on the Mac, paste the URL, control V or command V, target new window so we don't leave our discussion board if someone wants to see that video and click OK. And then I will go ahead and bullet list it and indent it. OK, and then maybe kind of keep the symmetry going here. Uh, ask a question directions. Sure. And go ahead and turn that into a header. Level four, and we talked about how picking level four is, is nice. It's the, it's the good size. And then I'll indent the ask question directions, and we're good. OK, and save. Now, um, you'll notice that I'm subscribed to this. That's really important. I'm subscribed. The button is green there. That means that I should be notified whenever a student posts a question here, which means I don't have to periodically come in and check and see if anyone's posted. I'll simply be notified. How? soon I'll be notified, or whether I'll be notified at all, does depend upon my Canvas notifications. So I'm going to go to the institutional Canvas menu here, click on account, and choose notifications. And I purposely kind of randomize this a little bit. Uh, but this is my settings for how often I want to be, or how quickly I want to be notified of any changes. So I'm going to go ahead and just set everything to do not send me any notifications. That will be my default. So anytime you make changes in Canvas, typically your students are going to be notified. Though how soon they're notified does depend upon their settings. Where it says discussions, I want to be notified right away if there is a discussion post. That means a student has a question. Because I'm going to be notified right away, it's going to go directly into my MiraCosta email. 
So I'll see a little email show up. If I have several Canvas courses going, if any of these ask a question discussion boards are used in any of my courses, if a question is posted, immediately goes into my Miracosta inbox. I'll see it there. I can respond to it in my Miracosta inbox and hit reply and I'll go directly back into the Canvas course. So rather than me needing to check these ask a question discussion boards, it's all handled within my Miracosta email. So this setting perhaps makes sense for me since I know if there's changes taking place in the course, but what about my students? Well, my students would probably want to be notified right away if there was a change to a due date. I don't need to know that, but they would probably want to know that right away or if there's a change to grading policies or if there's announcement. Imagine you're sending out announcements and the student has do not send me anything checked or send me a weekly summary. You might be thinking that you're giving them cutting edge information and they may not be getting anything. So it's important to help your students understand their Canvas notifications because that impacts your ability to communicate with them in a timely fashion. Okay, so I have my settings here. I'm gonna head back to the course, head on over to the discussions. And the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to move this from my general list discussions and move it up here to where it says pinned discussions. A pinned discussion means it's always at the top. It's pinned at the top. So it'll be easy for students to find. All right, hope you got something.